Hey everybody, this is Eric again. Um, I've had a few people asking what's going on with the volcano, so I figured I'd kind of give you the information. Well, the volcano is still smoking and whatnot, but um, this weekend the rains that they had been waiting for finally came. So with those rains, I, we will see tomorrow if I'm able to go back to my house or not. It could be that we're able to go back until the volcano erupts again. And if the volcano doesn't erupt again, we just get to stay at the house. Or it could be that they decide not to let us back in our house. So we'll just have to see. As you can tell, my surroundings have changed a little bit. You can see my trooper back there and my friend's uh, work truck, which is a Hilux. Um, and then back over here is his son's Suzuki Jimny which is a very very cool little ride I'll show you a little bit about that and then I have um, something else too that my friend owns we're actually staying with it we've been staying with him for a few days and we're about to go to somebody else's house tomorrow but he's also got this cool land cruiser behind me he likes off-roading and stuff he used to work for a importer of off-road accessories he's got 35 inch Coopers on it he's got an Olman Amu suspension on it it's a diesel so it's pretty cool. Um, and he's got also the Jimny for his, his son that uh, he'll start driving when he gets his license because here in Chile, you have to be 18 to have your license. And so um, it's, they've got a, cool, a couple of cool little rigs and hopefully that the Jimny will be ready to drive soon and they're gonna try to get some more um, uh, mud tires and stuff on it possibly in the future. But at the moment, as far as the volcano goes, well, we're just kind of waiting and seeing, and I'll have, I guess, maybe more information tomorrow. So I will let you guys know as more information becomes available. So I'm actually riding for the first time in one of the Suzuki Jimnys. It's actually a pretty comfortable little ride for it to be solid front and rear axle, um, four-wheel drive. Uh, it's an interesting combination between soft enough to be comfortable but actually stiff enough to have some kind of handling on the roads. Um, it's kind of small, I mean, not any smaller I wouldn't say than a Samurai. Uh, I had a Samurai and the interior is very very similar. So the, the interior is definitely more modernized of course. It's got, you know, plastic more and You've got carpet and headliner and all that stuff that's, you know, fabric, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Um, the seat material is definitely a nicer quality as far as like aesthetically looking. The, and the steering wheel itself is better. It has, if I'm not mistaken, airbags in it and that kind of stuff for the, for the dash or uh, for the driver. But it's a nice little rig. That's pretty impressive. So we're in my friend's um, son's Jimny, and I gotta say, this thing is pretty impressive because I had a Samurai 2 and it was not nearly as peppy as this thing is. This thing has quite a bit of uh, takeoff power to it. And I mean, the, the one thing is, is that I don't think any of these came in um, diesel, right? They're all gas? Yeah. So it's a, it's a gasoline motor, of course. It's a 1.6, right? 1.3. 1 1.3 liter. Wow, even more impressive because my 1.3 in the Samurai was horrible in comparison. But yeah, I mean, it's got some, get up and go and it does six well I can't really show it but it does up to 6,000 rpm without a problem I mean this this thing is actually really really impressive we were talking about the gas mileage and the gas mileage isn't great it's around um, I don't know let's see I have to do the conversion but it's around nine kilometers per liter I think right mm -hmm. something like that for four-wheel drive 16. and yeah, 16 miles per gallon maybe, something like that. And remember, this thing has a solid front axle on it. Um, 
don't get me wrong, we're also running uh, street tires on it. it. It doesn't have muds on it or all-terrain tires. It's just little street tires, and they're they're the factory size, so they're probably. Um, I, I have to look at the measurements. I, I can't even tell you how big the tires are, but I mean, for what it is, it's pretty pretty peppy. Um, I haven't tried, I mean, I've never seen this thing off-road in, in its factory format, so I don't know how it does in that sense, but I gotta say, it makes me kind of want to get myself one. We'll have to see what happens in the future if I can ever get rid of the Rocky then.